So I did like three different hauls recently and I was just gonna post them all like one at a time but I just didn't put them up as fast as I thought I would. And so I just decided to, instead of putting my hauls up one at a time, I was just gonna do all three of my hauls <laughs> in a row for one video. So I'm just doing, she's very cranky. So I'm just doing three hauls um, all in a row. So this is just three hauls, the Sephora stuff, um, Walmart stuff, drugstore stuff, um, the Disney store stuff, Lush stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys like, bye. Hey guys, so I don't do hauls very often, so I thought it'd be really fun. I went to the um, drugstore, I went to Walmart, and then like a Smith's and a Walgreens, and I picked up a few um, beauty related items. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a beauty, um, drugstore type haul and so I'm gonna jump right in and there's not like too many things but there are a few so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do um, so the first thing I got is just my falsies mascara this is my favorite I haven't um, tried this version this is the flared version with the wings and I haven't tried this one yet so I just tried the black lace one before but this is the flared version so the brush is just a little, I have like writing on my hands. <laughs> I had to write a phone number down. And uh, yeah, the brush is kind of like curved, so I really, really like that. And I know I'm gonna love it because I love falsies, so it's pretty exciting. Um, and the next thing I got, I was really excited about this because MAC sells like um, an eyebrow gel, but it's a little bit more expensive. And so I wanted to try to find like a cheaper eyebrow gel. Uh, and this is just the Great Lash, it's by Maybelline Great Lash, and it's just clear mascara, so it's just totally white. And um, the brush looks like that. And then you can just put it on your um, eyebrows just to kind of like keep them in place. And so I thought it'd be really fun to try that. Um, and then I got an eyeliner. I was really excited about this one. It's just like, let's see, it's Idle Eyes. And it was like a dollar something. It was like really cheap. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Sorry if it doesn't. But it's just purple. And I just barely like opened all this stuff so I haven't even used any of it yet. Um, I'll like swatch it. Look at how pretty that is. It's like a glimmery um, purple. I think that is just going to be so gorgeous on the eyes and I'm really really excited about this. Um, and then I got this one. It was like 67 cents. It's like an eyebrow pencil. Or not an eyebrow, sorry. It's like a, um, what am I trying to say? Eyeliner! It's like an eyeliner pencil. It's like a light brown kind of sparkly one and it was like a really really cheap one. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna love it because it's a little bit harder to work with but it's really pretty. It's like a really like lightish brown shimmery one. It is a little bit rougher though to work with. I mean it was like 67 cents so it's like a cheaper brand so I'll kind of just see if I like that or not. Um, and then I just got like an eye and a liquid eyeliner brush just like for liquid eyeliner on the eyes, just because I didn't have one, and I thought it'd be fun to try one. Um, and I got this one, it's just by Rimmel London, and it's this blue color, I think it's gonna be gorgeous. It's like a blue eyeliner. I'll swatch this one. Oh, I can already tell I'm gonna love it. It's just like this deep blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love that color. It's so fun for fall colors, so I really like that. I really like eyeliner, if you didn't know. Um, and then I got this Kate Moss Rimmel London lipstick. And this is like, this actually, this is the only thing that I have used. I just barely put it on and I just love it. It's like very nudey, but it's like the perfect nude. It's so pretty. It's very like skin toned, but it's just has like a little bit of pink in it. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like the perfect nude. I just love it. And like I said, I have it on, so I'm not gonna swatch it, but isn't it so pretty? I love this color. Um, and then everyone has been talking about this. The color tattoo, Maybelline color tattoo, they just barely came out with like a um, limited edition collection. And this is the barely beige color. Everyone's been talking about this. I went to three different stores to find this, you guys, because they were sold out in two of the stores. And once they sell out in limited editions, um, they don't like restock because it's just a limited edition. So I was like, I really want that. And I'm gonna just like, I'll just kind of show you on my finger. Can you see how pretty that is? It's just like, this is what it looks like. I don't think you can like tell because it's really light and like very glimmery, but oh, it's just gorgeous. It's such a pretty like color. I just, I was so excited about this. And then I got this, it's um, I think it's, oh, I don't have the packaging. Oh, it's right here, the Physician's Formula. It's like this glittery kind of, I thought it'd be gorgeous as like a highlight. It's so pretty. 
look at this. It's like just a whole bunch of like little like sparkly balls. Isn't that just gorgeous? I think that's gonna be just like really pretty like along here. Like just is like a really pretty highlight. So I was very, very, very excited about this. So anyway, I liked all this stuff and it, look, it even comes with like a little pearl on the container, how cute. Hey guys, sorry if the lighting's really bad. It's like 9.30 at night right now. My husband's just trying to get my son into bed. We had a really long day, so he's going to bed a little bit late. And I figured I'd hurry and just do this video because it's exciting. Um, and so I hope the lighting's okay in my room, but and it's kind of messy, so don't pay attention to that. But I just wanted to hurry and do a quick haul. I thought it would be really fun. I went to a few high-end stores today. And I don't go to high-end stores very often. The last time I actually spent a lot of money at a high-end store was a long time ago. So um, I just kind of went a little bit crazy because the closest Sephora and like Nordstrom's area that they have. And Nordstrom's has like Mac and Bobbi Brown and Laura Mercier. The closest like mall that has all those places to us is like an hour and a half away. And so... We were going up there today to do um, some like festivities and stuff. There was like a festival going on, and so we were going up there anyways. And so I just decided to stop by and grab a ton of stuff. I spent quite a bit, but I'm not really ever down there very often. So I thought it'd be really fun to stop by Sephora and Mac, Bobbi Brown, and Laura Mercier and pick up a few things. So I thought I'd share them with you guys because I like watching hauls. And I wanted to do it really fast because I know that I'm going to dig into all this stuff and start using it right away. And I wanted to kind of like do this before I did that because then I would lose track of what I was even going to talk about in the first place. So um, let me try to get all the groups together hopefully. There's so much stuff. Okay so at MAC I got a few things. Um, first I got this. It's the MAC Cleanse Off Oil and this is what the packaging looks like. And this stuff I'm really excited about trying. It's like all in the box. I just barely got this so I haven't even used any of it yet. Um, this is like just really, really great eye makeup remover and regular makeup remover. It takes up all of your regular makeup and eye makeup, which I think is great because I use eye makeup remover, but it doesn't take off my regular makeup. And so I think that this would be great just to do before like washing your face. And this is what it looks like. And it is five fluid ounces. So that's a great product I think. I'm really excited about it. I've heard really really great reviews about this so I'm really excited to use it. Um, the next thing at MAC that I got, let's see here, what are my other MAC things? Okay I got two other MAC things. Um, I got a paint pot which I'm so excited about trying. Um, I've heard a lot of people just love these and this is just like a great eyeshadow base. You put it on before your eyeshadow and it just kind of um, helps your eyeshadow stay on longer. It's like a, you know, concealer for your eyes pretty much um, and they have the Maybelline color tattoos and I love those as well for like an, a primer that's what it's called I love the Maybelline color tattoos for a primer but those have a lot of shimmer in them and I love those for when I want a little bit of shimmer to my eyes but this one is just very matte and it's very skin toned this is what it looks like and it is called painterly and it's just very um, very skin toned See, that's what it looks like. It's just matte. It's pretty much the color of your skin, and yeah, it's very matte. So it's really nice if you want some sort of primer that doesn't have any, like, sparkle in it. So I think that that will be really fun on days that I don't want a lot of sparkle to my eye. And then I got this brush. I have the smaller version of this, and I wanted the larger one just for, like, some of my liquidy foundations. I use a lot of different foundations, like, I just kind of rotate, and I use different brushes for different foundations. And this I thought would be really great for, like, the watery type foundations that I have. This is the MAC 187 Scalpling Brush. And I just think that this is going to be great for, like, all of my runnier type foundations. So I picked that up today. And then I'll just show you my one thing that I got from Laura Mercier. I just got a Laura Mercier fan brush. Now these fan brushes are great for like um, highlighting your face area. That's actually what they're meant for. Let me see if I can get this out of this package. <laughs> so it came like this with all this pretty packaging on it. I probably should have like opened this before I did the haul because now I'm like awkwardly trying to like unpackage this and figure it out on camera. That's a little bit awkward. Oh dear. 
it's like trying to open but it's not oh my goodness I was doing it wrong I was trying to pull it out this way and really it's supposed to go down you guys how embarrassing you know what? I'm just gonna rip it because who really cares right I'm not gonna keep that part anyways okay so finally we unveiled the fan um this is her fan brush it's just the Laura Mercier and these are actually meant for like putting highlights um just right above your cheekbone and then like down your nose, maybe up here near Cupid's bow, and then like down in your chin. And they're just very flat. So it's just a great brush. I was really excited about this. So that's what I got from Laura Mercier. And then from um, Chanel, I only got one thing from Chanel. I got an eyelash curler because I've heard that their eyelash curlers are the best. And I was really, really excited about it. Um, let me just open this and maybe I can show y'all what it looks like. This is kind of fun. It's like Christmas. I have all these new little things to play with. Okay, there we go. I just totally like bombarded the packaging, but who really cares? Like I said, don't keep the packaging anyway. Um, it's just the Chanel eyelash curler. Yay! I'm excited. So that's what that looks like and it just came with some extra little black things in case these like wear down or something so that's kind of neat that it did that. I'm just going to put that one back in here. Okay. And then what else did I get? I think I got something from Bobbi Brown. Yes. I got the um, Bobbi Brown corrector and this is just great for under your eyes for all the like blueness and like kind of dark circles and stuff. It's just a little bit more pink toned and so it's just a really, really great kind of thing. It's not like as thick as a concealer, but it's just really, really great at correcting all of the blueness, all of the discoloration and stuff like that from your face. I've heard great things about this and I was really, really eager to try it out. I'm really into like lighteners and um, correctors. I'm really into that kind of thing when it comes to makeup. So it is, what is the, it's Light Bisque. That's the one that I have. This is what it looks like. It's just pretty much skin based. It's just beautiful. I'm so excited. I love all the Bobbi Brown packaging. It's so pretty. Okay. And then you guys, where else did I go? Oh, and then at Bobbi Brown, they gave me a sample of their thick eye cream. So I was really excited about that. All right. And then I went to Sephora, which, oh my gosh, you can do some damage in that store. <laughs> oh, all their stuff is so pretty. Okay. So the first thing I really, really wanted to try was this Tarte Lights Cameras Lashes Mascara. And it's supposed to be a lengthening mascara. Um, and I just, I got really sucked in based on the packaging. That's really like stupid to say, but honestly, it was kind of about the packaging. <laughs> it's just so cute. It's like a um, snakeskin type purple packaging. Isn't that like the coolest mascara packaging you've ever seen? I think it's awesome. So I'm really, really excited. I'll show you what the wand looks like. Just looking at it. It's just an average wand. So I'm really excited to see if that actually works. I hope it does, because it's definitely a more pricey product. So hopefully the lash works good on that. Um, and then I got this Hello Flawless um, Benefit Powder. I've heard amazing things about this. This can be used as like a um, like a powder over top your makeup, or you can just use this as an actual powdery foundation, which I'm, I'm gonna use this as an actual foundation for days that I don't wanna wear like heavier makeup. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a mirror. Oh, look, you can see my camera. Woohoo! <laughs> so yeah, I just think that that's so cute. And I'm in the, th the lightest shade, it's ivory. And this has an SPF 15. It's just beautiful, beautiful powder, so. I was really excited about that. And then the last thing that I got, oh, and I got a sample of the pore minimizer um, cream. So I was excited to try that. Um, and the last thing I got, this was kind of just like a random thing. I wasn't even actually planning on getting a blush, but I've heard such amazing things about this blush. This is their number one selling brush, blush brush. This is their number one selling blush. And I bet you can't guess what it is the number one NARS selling blush and it is called orgasm and it's just 
beautiful oh my gosh it is so gorgeous I swatched this in the store and I immediately was like oh my gosh I have to have that if I can even get it open I should like practice these things before I do them on camera because then it's just awkward I'm like oh my god oh I was opening it the wrong way I was trying to open it through the back how embarrassing anyways oh my gosh isn't this the most gorgeous blush you've ever seen it is so pretty you guys it's this like gorgeous peachy color and it has a little bit of shimmer in it and I am in love with this. I am so excited to use this. So I wasn't even going in for a blush but I'm pretty stoked about it. I think that it's going to be awesome. I